Hello everybody, welcome to the farm. This is Jake. Got our Oliver 1855 here, ready to go. About to leave for um, the other farm, which is about I don't know, a quarter mile away. Um, got some new updates coming here. My truck, 1997 F250 with a 7.3 Power Stroke diesel. Um, a 6620 John Deere combine back there, as you see over yonder. Oh, I got slow. 2105 out there. I got the 4400 that we finished harvest with because that one, the 6620, may be having fuel problems because, like, it was a four and a half hour drive home and it was good. Then we put fuel in it the one day before we went out to harvest with it and it's like it wouldn't run. So it's like there's water in the fuel, but it's inconsistently drawing water. It's weird. It's kind of messed up. We'll make a video on that if we ever get the time, because school sucks. But yeah, okay. well, pretty little 1855 right here. We just bled it, put a five-gallon thing of diesel in it, so get you a little bit of a start up here. Also, sometimes when you when you turn the key to start up, even if you have the clutch down or nothing, it just goes. Grrr. It's weird. Why'd I do that? Yeah, get a little bit of a start up here. Oil pressure goes quick. Hear that turbo squawk. It sounds nice. I don't know what sounds better, this or my truck. They are both pretty nice. So I'm gonna drive down the fields now. I'm not gonna film that because I'm a responsible driver, as you can see from my truck driving. But yeah. Uh I'm just going to keep saying um until I feel like I know what I'm going to say. I'm at the field now. Um, not going to put the wings down yet because our field's back there where we're going. These two have just been planting weed about a week ago. Um, can't quite see it coming up yet. Maybe a little bit. Maybe dig down there. It's more weeds than wheat seed than what I, for what I see anyway. I don't really see much sprouting yet. I only got so long. Probably wouldn't have hurt to plant about a week or so earlier. But cold, wet, and rainy, what can you do? Um, Oliver drove plenty nice down here. No hydraulic issues or nothing. Just replaced the hose on it, so <laughs> that was an experience. Because last time we bought that, because we only bought that hose one or two years ago. It goes out quick on the on ours at least. Just the sharp angles and all that. But um, when we bought it a couple of years ago, it was one unit. It was like no parts or pieces to assemble on it or anything. Um, this time, I don't know, it was kind of complicated. Because it didn't come with directions. But it kind of showed, I don't know, I had to look at the old hose to figure out how to put this one together because the fittings or the, or the flares weren't on there and you kind of had to like put this piece with an O-ring and all that, I don't know, kind of complaining, it was just, I don't know, lazy. <laughs> I don't like doing stuff, unless it's this, which is sitting on a tractor all day, so I'll take what I can get. So we're going to be going back to that field back there, you can kind of see it over this field. That field back there was planted the beans, but it just never grew because we planted it, kind of had a drought-like summer stretch for like two or three weeks. Cracks in the ground just swallowed the bean seed, but the uh, sun's finally coming out, so let's go skin cancer. But, yeah. 
I'm gonna drive this back there now. I've showed you guys before me putting the wings down, so yeah. Uh-uh, and -uh. <laughs> not again. Maybe some quick cuts, and I'll see what I can do. It's weird, I don't like going slow. Yeah, I got a turbo diesel, but like slow is slow. We're backed up now, bud. I like how good it looks. There wasn't really much for it to cut up though. It's kind of just moving it. 